Yeah, I'ma get it. That's for sure. The power of passes and which I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna talk about five players that you guys should use your 85 to 86 power up pass on. You know, now that we got so much more players and since the beginning, you know, the start of Mutt. And um, there's just a lot more choices and a lot more good choices than you know just like the basic ones that people already made videos on. So from, from this standpoint, we're gonna be starting off with Adrian Amos. This guy, like for like if you're doing the theme builders, if you already have him, then yes, this doesn't apply to you. But I didn't pick him as one of my choices, so I was able to use my power up pass on him. And you know, you boost him up to that 87 overall, you know, 87 speed, 86 excel, the play regs there, you know, he'll be, he'll be able to jump those routes and you know, do a lot of cover. You know, like, <clears throat> then he has 85 zone, he uh, has decent hit power, so he's just, and he's six foot, you know, he's just a guy that won't get beat, you know, and he's just. He's just really good card, and you can have him as a user as well, you know, just to jump on routes even faster than before, so that's going to be one of the five players that I think you should use your power up on. So, the next guy we're going to be talking about is Mark Ingram, second, second, whatever. This man, I should have done him as a theme builder, or a theme king, whatever they're called, because this man eats. 69 overall, but you know, with the boost up, you get 83 speed, 86 excel. You get that 85 carry. You know, you know, I had Tariq Cohen before, and um, you know, his his height was a plus, his speed was a plus, but through my play style, and I just want to play more safe, you know. And this Mark Ingram, as soon as I made that switch, was just amazing. He has that carry that you know limits his fumbles rates and the trucking is amazing the break tackle this guy he can still catch you know loosen up i've i've broken some long ones with this mark ingram though so, you know if you're in need of a running back you know have that one two combo with him and bo jackson you know one of those two sets because this guy is a tank and i definitely recommend you guys use your power up pass you know instead of spending that a thousand something training for you know a player when you could just spread it around for every person. The person we're gonna have here is Marshawn Lattimore. And you know he's one of the fastest corners in the game that can really help cover ground, you know. He's not really like you know he's still that power up is expensive so you're gonna have to invest a little bit but you can just have him as a slot corner that or a user to just mainly cover ground. And if you guys can't afford it and want to look for a cheaper option I would say Brian Jones, but not Brian, Byron Jones. There's another guy, you know, cheaper, 6K. Still does a lot of the good things, and you know, once powered up, I think he has 87 zone. So, you know, that's something really good as well that you guys could work with. And um, yeah, so we're gonna move on to the next person. Yes. Yes. Fourth option is going to be Russell Wilson. You know, if you guys can't afford another quarterback or it's more difficult for you, you know, for 4K, you know, boost up to get one of the best quarterbacks in the game. And, you know, currently I have Andrew Luck, but, you know, Andrew, he's, he's faster. You know, Russell Wilson's faster. And, uh, you know, he's going to be accurate. And that's what you need. You need accuracy. You need those those good quick throws and that's what Russell Wilson specializes in you know and uh, yeah so the last and final player is TJ Watt this guy you know he specializes in that 3-4 but dude, there's not a lot of left outside linebackers right now in the game and once you get him up to the 87 he can do a little bit of everything Especially being pass rush because he has like 87 finesse move, which is amazing. So, you know, once you send him down there, he should get through. You know, one thing I've been learning about this new game is the, the finesse move is something that people should really look into because that I think that's something that's really 
like um, overlooked and I think that people should go for that more you know because I had Dwight Freeney with like less black shit than you know Aaron Donald but he's still getting as many sacks you know doing the with his high finesse move which is amazing so you know if you need a finesse move guy just a guy that just can do a little bit of both stop the run play a little bit of coverage then this is who you should guys go for so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it those are my five players and um we're gonna be seeing you guys peace